So how do you set up half day training slots or full day training slots in Calendly so people can book them just like that? Well, here's what you do. So first you set up your Calendly account if you haven't done that already. And what we're looking for is event types. So we've got a new event type and we're going to start with the half day event type. And is that going to be a one on one or a group? I'm going to call it a one on one. Assume that it's going to be booked just by one person. So I'm going to call it half day training. I could add a location there and a little bit of details. Uh, this is a half day of training on site. All right, at, at our uh, tr uh, training location or it could be over zoom or somewhere some other way half day training okay you could have a special event color for this but this is really uh, the very very basic that I'm going to be putting on here and I click next of course how do we know that it's half a day so we're going to have custom minutes here so the event is actually going to go for three and a half hours and so three hours is 180 minutes plus a half hour, 240, no it's not, it's um, 210 minutes. Whoop. So that's the custom minutes, okay, so we've got to specify it in minutes. How, how far in advance can people book this? So here is where we say, well, we, we're going to allow them 60 days in advance. Wow, well you could make that less. You might say, no, uh, I, they can't book it more than a month ahead. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at 60. Now this is the most important thing is going to be, so it goes for 210 minutes. And now what we want to do is say, well, when is this available? So we're going to have one slot available, which goes from 9 till 12.30 p.m. Okay, and then we're going to have a second one, new interval, which is going to go from 1 p.m. or th uh, 1 p.m. through to 4.30 p.m. Okay, now does that apply to just for, just for Mondays? How often do you have this training? How often are you going to make this available? You might say, well, I've only got this training available on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays, let's say. So I'm going to say apply to all Mondays or apply to multiple Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I hit apply there. Now watch what happens here. And now these Wednesday slots are no good. We want to get rid of them. They're just in there by default. I'm going to say I'm unavailable. I'm going to delete that slot for all Wednesdays. You cannot book training on Wednesdays. Same with Fridays. I'm going to say delete this apply to all Fridays and now people can book this slot in now a couple of things that we need to to add in here okay so people can book it on a, that's on a Monday or a Tuesday now you might say well actually we're only going to do Monday mornings or Tuesday afternoons so you can just delete the Tuesday morning ones and say that applies to all Tuesdays okay so Monday you can have we've got a Monday morning or a Monday afternoon only Tuesday afternoon and anyway you, you can you can do all sorts of variations here now then we get into the advanced thing was well if we've got a slot booked on Monday Monday morning then we don't want to do a Monday afternoon one okay it's too much for the trainers so people can book if somebody books the Monday afternoon one then we don't want a Monday morning one as well so what we can do is we can say no you've you cannot have you give me at least an hour between my slots or you could say maximum number of events in a day I'm only going to work. so give me an hour let me just look at that for a moment we'll get back to those other things in a moment about buffer and so on so let's go back to here and what I've said is book is give me an hour for this half day training okay uh, when can people book this event Okay, and what I've said here is give me an hour between the two. Well, obviously, if they book 
you know, 12.30, I, I, I need an hour's gap before they book the next one. So, or else we could make it, it's a bit advanced here, and we can say only one event in a day, or only two events in a day. How far in advance before they book the event? Can they book it at um, 9 o'clock in the morning for on a Monday morning for Monday afternoon? No, that's not enough time. We're going to give, we need to have at least 48 hours notice. Okay? So that means that if it's, if it's a, if it's a Monday, for example, uh, today is Monday and they go to book the event, the Tuesday event will not be available for them because you need more notice for your training. So to the buffer before and after the event, in other words, make sure that I've got some preparation time before the event so that it's not back to back and you can set whatever that is going to be. Give me an hour beforehand and I need half an hour to say goodbye or to pack up afterwards, okay, or make it an hour, okay. And then that's it, we go save and close. And then you get to a whole lot of other things around the event, the invitee questions. So this is a way of really telling people, first I need to know your name and your email address, but I need, I need to ask you some other questions. So this is a good way of qualifying people. Have you done this training before? Is this something uh, that you, have, have you worked with us before? Uh, have you... Um, or maybe to to explain. Look, we need to bring. We need you to bring this material. Uh, we can we can have a series of questions here, questionnaire, and uh, with and you can say, look, I need you to bring this material to our event, and then hit save and close. I haven't got any questions there. What about cancellation policy? I'll leave you to look at look at what happens there. We can do all kinds of things, email follow ups, and so on. I think that may be only available on the more premium option of Calendly, but I'm not sure. Confirmation page is really important because instead of the display Calendly confirmation page, which just says, hey, we have received your booking, you could add a custom link. So that could point to your to a page on your website, which might actually have a little video that says, hey, fantastic that you booked in for our training. Here's what you can expect. Here's... If you're coming to our physical location, here's how you get parking. If you're going to be dialing in over Zoom, this is what you do it, how you do it. And then you could also collect payments. So I'm going to skip that bit. And I'm going to jump on to the to the other one that you've asked that, that I was asked about, which was around the full day training. So this will be a lot faster. <clears throat> so the full day training, we're going to go. So we've now got this half day training one, and we've now got a full day training which is a new event type. And so that new event type is going to be, and I'll actually make it a group one. <coughs> and so it's full day training. Okay, I could specify our location. Uh, that actually could be a Zoom meeting. Okay, if I've integrated with Zoom, which I've done, and then write a summary details you should know about the event hey if you want to book a full day event know that you need to do this uh, we can only have this many people and so on okay maximum number of invitees in a spot okay where well, we only train uh, up to eight people at a time okay for our social media course or something like this and then we hit next i'll change the color to green um custom minutes so we said that it was going to be basically a full day so i'm going to call that seven and a half hours eight hours six eight to 48 480 450 minutes okay so basically a full day and i'm going to specify that time as 9 till 4 30 4 30 p.m i'm going to apply that to all mondays and I'm actually going to apply that to Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. And then Wednesday, uh, actually, we'll make it, yeah, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to delete the Wednesdays. We don't do training on Wednesdays ever. And I've got the Fridays. I'm going to delete the Thursdays. Thursdays are only, only available for 
um, for the half day training, right? So now there's a question, what happens if somebody books in a half day training on the Monday and someone else goes in to book on the full day training on the Monday? Well, if you are only allowing the one event, then it's simply going to say you're booked. After the first person has booked, <laughs> okay, that slot is full, okay? Um, and then once again, we've got the same other options, which are around um, questions for the invitees, and you could then point to a, a form such as Google Forms or Type Form or Gravity Forms uh, or some other form to uh, Wufu, I think is one of them, to to ask those questions, or you could have those questions here on the invitee questions and uh, notifications and cancellation policy. Well, a half day, or we don't want to be setting up for half a day and then find out that people are going to drop out. Um, so you can specify that. And we, you could link to this on your social media or in your email signature or on a page, find out more about our training, okay? And then once we view the live page, which I'll do right now for the full day training, here's what it looks like for me as a potential customer, okay? So I can see that I don't have any slots available until the 29th. Make sure that I have um, made my availability correct. I may not have done that. Let me have a look. Yeah, well, okay. So we said Monday, Tuesday, or Friday, okay? So I've said, so I want to book a time. So this is me as a customer now. I want to book a full day training uh, Tuesday at 9 a.m. and confirm. And then that's where it asks me my, my questions and I hit schedule event. And then that will send me the customer and notification to say uh, you are booked for this time from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And um, it will send you, the Calendly account owner, a notif notification to say this person has booked this event. So... Anything more to add? Oh, yes. Uh, just that if you want to integrate, you saw that in one of those one of those options, there was a way of integrating Calendly and Zoom so that you don't then have to create a separate Zoom event and then send it to them separately. So I am going to link to my video on how to integrate Calendly and Zoom. And so that's it. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed already, then please subscribe to this channel where I help business owners, small business owners, to get confident in their business, even with some of the technical stuff.